Aging is the biggest risk factor for neurodegenerative diseases. Even without disease, aging is associated with brain atrophy and cognitive decline. So we know aging is very bad for the brain and we need to figure out better why that is and what are the common genes and locations and cells that are affected with aging that are also involved in MS. That's the way we'll figure out a treatment to prevent the effects of aging on the brain in MS. MS is an autoimmune and a neurodegenerative disease. It really transitions in the first few years from a very inflammatory disease with lots of relapses and remissions. And then after about 10 or 15 years, it transitions to a disease that's more neurodegenerative. So not as many relapses, but this slow disability progression. The MRI will show lots of inflammatory lesions early, but late, not so many of those, but instead you have brain atrophy. As members are aging, what I'm seeing that is really critical in their lives is healthy lifestyle behaviors. And so somebody who is exercising regularly, eating a healthy, well-balanced diet that's free from processed foods and ad added sugars, and the key component is individuals who are maintaining their social connections, they're really living longer, healthy lives. This program gives you the ability to adapt to those conditions. That, that that form of the disease presents to you. And if I, I had not found this program, like I said, I know that uh, I would have been a lot worse off. I'm still mobile, I still drive a car, uh, I still do exercise. That's why I've been here. And it, it gives you that, and it also gives you this, the, the social interaction between other people that have the same same problems that you're dealing with. I'm so grateful. I'm so appreciative. Everyone, when you come in, they meet, they meet you, they greet you. Whatever state of mind you're in, then they help you to offset what you're doing, how you're feeling, and it just helps you to want to live even more. What's needed is a treatment to target brain cells so that when any of these immune cells do come in, the brain is more resilient and it doesn't undergo as much damage and also the, um, the brain uh, can repair. So think about that. So instead of just decreasing the degeneration or slowing it, can we repair within the brain? We're just giving metformin to older MS patients that are in that progressive transition stage from relapse remitting to progressive. Now, the reason we thought it might work was one, we know it targets a gene we had found in the lab here at UCLA, in my lab, that was very interesting that could potentially regulate this degeneration. And second of all, we knew that in the, in the uh, veterans hospitals across the country, they had noticed that when the vets were on metformin as opposed to not, they were, they were less likely over many years to get Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease. So it appeared to be very anti-neurodegenerative. It really all comes together, what we do in the lab when then we take it to the clinic. And in this case, it's finding a, a drug that's used commonly, it's safe, and repurposing it to target a, a gene and a cell that we found in the lab to see if it can prevent this neurodegeneration of aging. The, the good thing about MS is that it doesn't uh, it is not a terminal disease. People don't die of MS. They're going to live a long life. We want to make sure it's a happy life that doesn't have much disability. That's our goal. So we've got to get them to a, a good stage with their disabilities even when they're older and they got to pass through this time when they're in their 50s and 60s and make sure it's not too hard on them or their MS.